Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call halal yim yahawa ba'ashim yahawa shai ba'ashim rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim out there spreading the, go spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yahweh from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming back to you <clears throat> with this um with this lesson that may lead to a couple more lessons. Basically going into this foolishness that um you know they trying to take a last another last stand via vocab Malone. A slew of other corny niggas, you know, and uh we had a big time scoffer, you know, on Saturday. You know, trying to validate his Christianity, but <clears throat> and and basically validating, um, seeking to validate how he doesn't have to live with the law, how the law is done away with. Of course, he got cut, but nevertheless, this ain't about him. You niggas in Christianity are crazy, man, because the first thing you throw up is this idol, JC, 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 but then you would take Bible scriptures, and that's where you really fuck up because, see, in the modern day world, people think that, um, especially you niggas into that Islam, into that black conscious bullshit, you know, you think the Bible contradicts itself because of Christianity. Well, no, Christianity contradicts the Bible. The Bible doesn't contradict itself, not one time. All right, because these people don't believe in the Lord, as the scripture has said, and this is just like a beginning. You know, I'll probably touch on a few things. This is gonna be very short, but it's like an introduction to this beat down. You know, because they're not taking no last stand, and the Lord is going to get all the credit for destroying this. You know, that's why he said in Isaiah 48 and 5, before you can say your prayer phrasing, but Isaiah 48 and 5, before you can say your idols have done it. You know, the Lord already prophesied this, man. You people, King David, you know, especially the two-thirds of Israel, when King David prayed that prayer that was a curse, he said, let that table be a snare upon him. You walk around with the Bible. You got the Bible in your church. You got your Bible in your grandma bathroom collecting dust, and you don't believe one word in it. Now, let me get a couple of scriptures. <clears throat> this is St. John 7 and verse 38, because it all really has to start right here when it comes to Yahweh Shai. And you people who say you believe in, we know you don't. This is St. John 7 and 38. It said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow riven, rivers of living water. Now, I'm going to just get a couple examples because, like I said, this is going to be short of believing on you. How shy as the scripture has said that you know these people in the church don't believe. So I'm going to start with one of my favorites. This is Revelations 2 and verse 26. All right, these are questions you should ask people who say they believe in the Lord or they Bible-believing Christians. This is Revelations 2 and verse 26. It says, He that overcome, and these are the words of Yahweh Shai himself, verse 25, matter of fact, it says, But that which he have already hold fast till I come, which is the truth. It said, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with the rod of iron. And as vessels of the potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received, even as I have received of my father. So this is Yahweh Shai, who the world calls J E S U S, and who Christians say they believe in. But if you believe in Yahweh Shai, the scripture said, you gotta believe that the other nations are going into slavery. You gotta believe that he only died for the nation of Israel. He only did, yes, he only died for the nation of Israel. This is Acts five and verse twenty nine. It said, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. The the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Now, if the law is done away with, why would Israel need to be forgiven for their sins? The scriptures say where there is no law, there is transgression. No transgression because the law is always going to be around. And Israel needed a mediator for that, which was Yahweh Shai. And if you believe on Yahweh Shai, as the scripture has said, you have to know that Yahweh Shai only died for Israel. 
you have to know that Yahweh Shah only died for the nation of Israel. And Christianity doesn't teach that. All right. This Yahweh Shah only deals with the nation of Israel. But that's believing in the Lord as the scripture has said. <clears throat> now I'm going to get a couple more. You know, because if you believe in the Lord as the scripture has said, you got to believe this. This is Matthew 10 and verse 5. And these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, nor into the city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but rather go to the lost but, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai was all about Israel. Alright, the apostle Paul. When he spoke to the Gentiles that were scattered abroad, that were all about the nation of Israel. All right. Matter of fact, this is Acts 28 and 20. It says, for this cause, this is the Apostle Paul, this says, for this cause I have called for you to see you and to speak with you, because for the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. Why is he still talking about Israel? All right, so if you're a new covenant New Testament believe in so-called Christian. You're supposed to believe in all these scriptures. And you don't believe in none of them. Why? Because the Lord have, has blinded you. All right? And the scripture says our gospel be hid. It is hid unto them that are lost. And that's why you don't get it. Matter of fact, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 8. Salaki verse 5. It says, remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And now ye, and now ye know what was holding me, that he might be revealed in this time. And that goes into the so-called white man. It says, for who 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 got you believing this folklore and this BS? It says, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way, and that wicked shall be revealed. And now we're in the time that the wicked has been revealed. So you niggas shouldn't believe these lies anymore. But I'm going to keep reading. It said, Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even whose work, who even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and lying wonders. All right? With all deceive and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So if you're in that wicked cult that's known in Christianity, you are having pleasure in unrighteousness. All right. You will say the law is done away with. But if I steal your TV and lay, lay with your woman, you will say that's wicked. And it is wicked. But what holds that standard? The law. You Christians are in for a rude awakening, man. Because your Howard Bashim, your Howard Shah is going to judge you, man. You know. Even though we know you've been blinded by him, because he blinded by him. But he blinded you by him. He, <clears throat> so like he's the one that blinded you. And we understand that. But you niggas, you, you're not going to repent, man. And you're going to keep coming up with this pride and not believing on the Lord that the scripture has said. But then again, holding up the Bible. This is why the scripture says in Psalms 50 and 16, but unto the wicked, what is thou to declare my statutes? They go to Esau and they go into these two third ass niggas too. The Most High is about to destroy you niggas, man. But this is just a, um, a introduction, man, to a couple lessons I'm going to do. And I just want to bring out a couple points. So if you say you're a Bible-believing Christian or a so-called New Testament Christian, you're supposed to believe everything I just read. But, uh, you know, it's on, man. And, you know, hopefully that was slightly edifying, you know. Call Alayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakan Kadash. Double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect. I'll get them out there. Shalom.